Long day lay me low Hello everybody, Jason Baskin here, Unhinged Entertainment, doing something a little different, a little different. Um, as some of you may know, uh, I collect the Batman black and white statues, um, I like them, I'm fond of them, uh, and, uh, I've amassed a few of them, uh, some, some aren't black, uh, the black and white series, some aren't, uh, those, um, as you can see, I have some over there that I will showcase later on too, so, I figured something different, something cool, you know, a little... I'm into comics, but I'm also into the statues. I like those. I'm not big into toys, but um, the statues are more like my toys. So uh, I get why people collect the toys, though. So I'm going to be showing off um, one of my favorites uh, right now. Now, mind you, this is very amateurish uh, setup. Maybe as things go along, I'll find a way to make it better. But uh, so, yeah, so let me show you the first one here. So apparently I didn't set up uh, the camera switch for uh, the audio. But uh, yeah, this is Greg Capullo's Joker. This is from the New 52. Uh, I, from a, not one of my newest ones, but it's not one of the most pricier ones But it's uh, that I bought. But it's still, it was still up there. Uh, I do shine a light on it a little here. I don't know if it blows it. It does blow it out a little bit. I keep it on. I don't know if it's going to do any better. I think, and I do turn it off. I like it better with it off. I think try to position it. Like I said, this is the first one. Uh, but uh, if you like the light on, let me know. I could, I can maybe even position it, position it better. I think it blows it out too much. But uh, I love the detail that was put into this. It's great work. This is from when he cut his face off. Had his face cut off by, uh, I can't remember who the toy maker. I think, and uh, and he he had to steal it back and. He wore it. <laughs> just whacked out, man. I, that's why I like the Joker. He's whacked out. But uh, he had killed the guy and uh, took his, you know, uniform. So yeah, and uh, you know, you you can kind of. I think I turn the light off. And you can see it a little better. But it's it's great detail. Paint job looks good. And I know these are black and white, but you there's still the. There you go. And it turned it off, and uh, I, I don't know. I just think it. it it, it looks a little better with that light off. You can see a little bit more. That light blows it out a little bit. But, uh, yeah, you can see the tool belt here. Uh, all that detail that's in these statues. is They're just great. I really like them. Uh, I don't know if they're totally doing away with the DC uh, direct uh, editions of the uh, statues here. But, uh, yeah, I try to get a zoom in as close as I can with these guys. So you can see the amount of detail that goes into these. Uh, and that's why I collect them. They're just great. I think there's a little bit of... I, I, I try to check the number here. Uh, it doesn't look like there's one. Uh, so this isn't numbered. Uh, but it is... Uh, yeah, I hold it up there because I can't see, so I don't know. But uh, these are the first editions, though. You can tell because of the base here. Uh, I, I pointed out uh, the bases are... They're inverted if they're second edition. So the... Yeah, see here how I pointed out the uh, the logos are flipped, so the black and the white are on the opposite side, and the the black base uh, is white. That's white part. That part there is white too for the second editions. But uh, this was a first edition, which I was very happy to get because I, I'm a huge fan of Capullo. I, he's inspired even my Joker. Um, I don't know if I say that later, but yeah, I kind of uh, I'm not showing you his butt. I'm showing you that. I chose Garage is great, but uh, yeah, uh, I draw the uh, Joker a little bit like Capullo, uh, a little bit like Jim Lee, and a little bit like Sam Keith. There's a, a lot of the uh, variables thrown in there. So, uh, but he's got his shoes on, <laughs> his boots, and the socks. Well, like great detail. You can see the laces. Beautiful stuff. Great statue. I mean, I don't know if you can still get this on Amazon or not. I don't think so. And if you can, it's going to be very, very expensive. But uh, I try to move him in, in pretty close there. You can see, and it doesn't. I don't know if I leave it there to focus or not. But, but yeah, I really like this one. One of my favorites. Uh, I'm a big Capullo fan. And I'm sorry about the focusing issues, but I, I try to get it in there as close as possible. I like those big gloves. That that kind of inspired a little bit of the Frog G gloves, actually. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's and that you know great detail. I guess showing off like bits and pieces of. The Joker of Capullo's into mine. So I love it. Great. One of my favorites. 
Leave that out of focus. Professional, very professional stuff here. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's um, that's my Joker. It's uh, one of them. I have a couple Jokers actually. Uh, they're great. I love them. I love the uh, DC Direct uh, black and white stuff. It's really cool, really fun. I'm really upset this is out of focus right now. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I didn't even know. Uh, it's kind of hard to look at these in the OBS as well as, you know, move it around. So, um, because I'm, yeah, so that's my Joker. Uh, I'm just going to ramble until it switches back. So yeah, so that's uh, that's it. I mean, I just uh, showcase some of my statues. Hope you guys enjoy. You guys enjoy seeing them. Uh, it's, it's it's a hobby that I have. Uh, something like I don't buy them all the time. It's very sporadic, very sparingly. But I am always browsing. I buy them by artists that I like. So um, or even if they look really cool, and I'm not too familiar with the artist, but uh, this was uh, definitely one of my favorite pieces because, uh, like I said, it's Greg Capullo, and I've been wanting it. I don't I don't know if he if he did a Batman. I didn't pick it up but uh there's a lot that i didn't get that i really wanted to that i just can't now they're way too exp way too pricey but thank you once again for watching and don't forget we got frog g uh on indiegogo link for that will be in the description below uh check that out and uh everybody have a lovely day we've all read the story the brave hero conquers the diabolical villain and rescues the damsel in distress but this is real life, and in real life, stories don't always have happy endings. Frog G, the story of a man turned into a frog by a voodoo priestess, sent on a mission to kill a god by death itself. Now our hero must roam the underworld to regain his humanity and win back the woman he loves. <laughs>